as we end our journey in the book of Job, there's a few more things I'd love for you to see that I feel like may tie up some loose ends for you as you conclude this book. There's a deeper look at some of the assumptions that Job and his friends make in this entire process in comparison to God's responses to such assumptions. Job suggesting that God is unjust and God's response to such a claim, you're not in a position to make such a claim. Job demanding an explanation and God simply inviting Job to trust his wisdom. And so the assumption is that Job and his friends are in some level of great understanding to be able to make the claims that they've made throughout this entire book. And God's response to such an assumption that's made in the text is that Job is not in any kind of vantage point or perspective to make such claims that he's made. For Job has a very limited perspective on life and has no idea how the universe functions truly. So where do we apply all of this into our lives? Since we're not Job, we may not be suffering like Job, but yet he raises compelling questions that maybe we've shared some similarities in asking God, hopefully this helps. Whatever you're suffering through, whatever you're going through that is of such great degree and it's something that you are just trying to logically fathom but your understanding is greater than the analytical processes you're trying to take it through maybe an answer isn't given to your suffering maybe you never will know exactly why you endure it here's the encouragement that's subtle and over time comforting to trust in the wisdom of god because his wisdom that is eternal will never let you down we may not be given an answer to the confusing suffering that we may endure in this life. But as long as we can grasp the character of God, who's the ultimate creator, loves us dearly and has the best in mind, whatever decisions are made, whatever he allows, we can trust him because he simply knows what's best.